58. I'm on it. If you continuously do shit day in and day out out here in Bodega Bay, you start to string things together. You end up on a beautiful streak. The streak of victory. A winning streak. 58 days ago, I didn't have continuous days of running. But now I do. 58 days in a row. When will it seem like something? When will it seem like a lot? Maybe to some of you, it already is a lot. Maybe to some of you runners out there, you're going, I ain't that many days in a row. <laughs> because you've done it already, right? I've done 365 days in a row of lifting before. A couple years back, I've done 100 days in a row of carnivore. What I've learned from all these things is that the streak isn't really that important, but it is that important. It's really fucking important. You know who it's important to? And you know who it's important for? It's important for ourselves. Ourselves. Your body, mind, spirit, mind, and your heart. I know you can't hear shit because it's windy here. Windy as hell out here in Bodega Bay. But we got some nice sunlight going and we're accumulating days. This is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about putting up points on the scoreboard of life. Who's with me for that? Who's down for that? I know we're rounding out sober October and you guys and girls might have some ideas of some things you want to get to now that it's ended and maybe keep the streak going maybe keep keep the sobriety going and whatever it is you're sobering up from what is it you're sobering up from what is it that you want to fast away from what are these things that you want to move towards gravitate towards move away from you know, these are all things we get to think about. And they're all things that over the years have helped me grow. And maybe you don't care. That's fine. <laughs> I just like to share this stuff out. And whatever you find useful, you find useful. Years ago, I shared keto. Years ago, I shared carnivore. Years ago, I shared powerlifting bench, squat, deadlift, started sharing information about intermittent fasting and so forth over the years. I just keep sharing and whatever it is that you gravitate towards, that's cool. And whatever you don't gravitate towards, that's fine as well. And I'm not doing it because I'm a humanitarian. I'm doing it for my own selfish reasons because it feels good. It feels good to help other people. And I had a brother years ago die he was bipolar of a drug overdose I had a mother die more recently and her death was from obesity and I'm just hoping I can connect with some people on some level that prevents things like that happening in their lives happening to them happening to their children happening to their aunt, their uncle, whoever it might be. So that's all these messages are for. That's all these messages have to do. They're just encouragement from your boy Smelly. And yeah, I got products to sell, but you know what the truth is about all those products? They sell anyway. I created great products that have good utility and have stood the test of time and people enjoy them. And so, I created all the slingshot products. More recently, created Mind Bullet, and also created a supplement company called Within You. And again, these are all things that I found to be useful for me, and I'm just sharing them on over with you. And yeah, there's a price for some of those things. But for some of this stuff that I share every day, do with it as you wish. You're probably saying to yourself, why would a guy who's not a runner share information about how to run? Well, it's because 
I'm an egotistical, is that a word? Egotistical maniac. I love the sound of my own voice. And I get off on thinking that I'm know-it-all about everything. <laughs> now again, these are just findings for me. I find things, I use them. I rub elbows with some really outstanding, amazing, crazy individuals from Zach Bitter to Ben Greenfield to Stan Efferding to Jay Cutler, Honey Rombaugh, Louis Simmons, Dave Tate. I mean, it's just Charles Poliquin, RIP, Ben Patrick, functional patterns, all these different things that I've run into that go to guys. Gary Scheffler, shout out to him, shout out to David Weck. I'm not making this shit up. I just happen to, these people get in my eye line and I communicate with them. Then I try some of it out and I'm like, yo, this stuff's helped me move mountains, helped me tremendously. And maybe there'll be a point where I change my mind on some of the views I have, but all they are is views. I'm not attached or married to these beliefs. They're all interchangeable and they can change with the proper conjecture at the right time. I got some major hills coming up. So it's a good point for me to drop off right here and use both arms to get me going running. Some of you have been following for a long time. I lost over a hundred pounds, now over 110 pounds. Waking up most days about 225. Gonna run a marathon sometime in April. The famous marathon in April that I might be doing. <laughs> and I'm just working every day. I'm hungrier now more than ever. I got the eye of the tiger now more than ever. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. I have a desire to do better, to be better, to do more and to be more. And these acts that I'm doing, these things that I'm asking my body to do, these displays and these acts are ways for me to make sure I level up and make sure I work my face off. Make sure I'm accountable for something. That's what powerlifting did for me and to me, right? It made me accountable. You think you know about powerlifting? Go out and show them. Squat a thousand pounds, and maybe some people will believe in what you're saying. Keep in mind, also with my powerlifting, not that it maybe matters too much to some of you, but I didn't have any products to sell for decades. You know, I've been podcasting now for nearly 10 years. I'm coming up on 10 years of podcasting. Mark Bell's PowerCast. It turned into the Power Project. And that's been cranking. And that's been going good. But I've been doing this shit for a long time. And I've been doing this shit. Powerlifting. Pushing my body hard. Pushing my body hard. Like I'm doing now on this goddamn hill. I've been doing this long before this camera, long before I hold something up and selfie myself. And I had a desire and a pull, a gravitational pull towards powerlifting that had zero to do with monetization of anything. I never intended to sell anything. It just happened that I got a brain of an inventor. Doesn't work great for a lot of stuff, but it can come in handy. And uh, it's certainly useful for making lots of money. <laughs> so 
my mom told me that one time. She said, you know, it's hard to pinpoint what you're really good at, honey. But I know that you're really good at making money. <laughs> that still fills my heart up. Such a cute comment. My mom was amazing. She was the best. She filled me up with a lot of confidence. And uh, she's very encouraging. And that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to encourage the fuck out of you guys to take that step. To not end up like my mother or my brother. My brother Mike he was paralyzed by his own thoughts. It didn't matter how tough or strong he was. It didn't matter that his nickname was Mad Dog. He's still fucking dead from his own paralyzed thoughts. Now, look, he was diagnosed bipolar, but he was he was always getting high off of something. And always trying to cheat the system one way or another. He was a drug addict. And once that became a belief in his own system, he was paralyzing and he couldn't get himself out of it. So whatever you are right now, you don't have to be because you can learn. There are no limits on what you can learn and know. And not, in my opinion, everything's solvable. Everything's solvable. So there's solutions out there nearly any issue or problem that you have and I'm just grateful that my body is still intact enough to push like this and to continue to ask questions continue to come up with the best current answers I can get share them out with you guys so I just ran that loop hair and root loop which I certainly couldn't do that loop previously uh, without having to stop and now I'm going to kick the shoes off and hit the beach get some flat surface barefoot running in strength is never weakness weakness is never strength catch you guys later